Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will share a template I created that might help you in your university life as a student. This will be a walkthrough and I will also show you how you can personalize it. And yes, let's get right into the video. So once you open the template, you will see here the dashboard for your university page. On the main page, you can first see some buttons. You can personalize and set this as quick links. You can add here your learning management system or other important school links. And by the way, this widget is from Indify and you can customize it by hovering your mouse on the button and clicking customize. There's also the navigation column. You can edit this by adding or deleting the pages depending on your needs. I added this menus for easy access. We will check the individual pages later on this video. You can also see here a clock which is from the widget box icon as well as the calendar. You can basically personalize the widgets with the colors you want on the widget box site. There's also this photo column. You can replace this with whatever you want and to make it more personalized. And on this area is you will see the goals part. You can add your goals for this school year and for you to be motivated once you open this Notion page. And under that is a widget from Indify showing some quotes which changes daily. Another part of this template is you will see a dedicated area for your notes. Personally, I use OneNote in taking notes, but I still tried to make this notes template for you guys and just personalize it based on your preference. On the other side is a class schedule. You can place here your subjects and will it be a lecture or a laboratory and you can also add the room number. And here I linked these subjects to their specific notebooks for easy access. For example, clicking this will bring me to that particular subject notebook. You can also edit the time in this column depending on your schedule. For the last part, we have the task lists or your to-dos. Again, personalize this. You can add more properties, the type of the tasks, etc. And the good thing here is I made sure to sync the tasks whenever you add one on a specific subject notebook. And we will just delve into that in a while. So under it, we have a calendar view of our to-dos which will show you a general overview of the things you need to accomplish or those on your task list table. So now let's check the pages in the navigation column. The task list basically is just the same as what I showed you a while ago, but this page is dedicated only for the task list table. Next is we have here the links page where you can add some links you want to note. Then another is a page for your grades so that you can place them here and for you to track them. Another page that I added is this Pomodoro timer. You can open this whenever you are doing a homework or a project and you can work or study for 25 minutes straight and then have an option after for a shorter or longer break. And you can also change its theme or preferences by clicking on the settings icon. And this widget is from Gridfitty. Another is for your school calendar. You can add here a photo or a file of your school calendar and note some important holidays on the side, some important dates such as major exams, programs, etc. Lastly is the notes page. I added here 10 pages slash notebooks, but you can also delete some if you want. By clicking on a page, you can add here your prof's name, room, and schedule on a specific subject. And also you can personalize 
the icons and headers of the pages. And moving on, the first part you'll see here is the task list. Here you can see the tasks specifically on that subject only. And this is because of the filter we added. You can also add a filter to see the tasks that are not yet done or are already accomplished. And yes, there are other more properties or filters you can apply. And by adding a task under this specific subject here on this notebook, it will also reflect on the main task list table that we have on the dashboard page. And under it is the notes part, which can be in the list or table view. If you don't mainly use Notion for note taking, you can still use this part to save files or bookmarks on a specific topic. You can also add more properties if you want. So yes, if you want to use this template, click on the link below and click the duplicate button above. Enjoy using it and feel free to personalize it. And that is all for today's video. Thank you so much guys for watching.